Hi, today I'm going to show you DeepTeach, the interactive deep image classifier builder. DeepTeach is a web app that runs on MLDB, the machine learning database. With it, you can build an image classifier within minutes by teaching the model the type of image you're looking for. Let's see how it works. We're going to be working with a real estate data set, and we'll teach a model to determine if an image is showing the interior or exterior of a building. We have a box at the top titled Samples. It contains a random sample of the images in our data set. Below there are two boxes, the target box where we'll drag positive examples. So for us, that'll be the images showing the exterior of buildings and the not target box for negative examples where we'll drag everything else. So let's get started. I'll drag um, the images from the exterior of buildings that I got from my sample. So I've got three and I'll drag uh, five images uh, that are from interior and I hit find similar. So what happens now is a model is trained using the labels that I provided and it returns me uh, recommendations of images that uh, it thinks belong to one or the other classes. So in the maybe target are the most likely examples from the target class. If I take a quick look, it got them all right, so I can click at all. If we look at images from the not target, it also got them correct. If it, if it, uh, for example, got anything wrong, then you can simply drag them in the correct boxes uh, to, to, to correct the model's prediction. If we scroll back up, in the samples, we now have a mix of uh, random images plus images that lie near the decision boundary. So uh, the pie charts represent the probability that the images belong to the target class. So by dragging images that are um, you know, close to 50% in their right class, we're, uh, we're helping uh, the model uh, make better predictions. So now we can hit find similar again now that we've um, added new images to both our label boxes and, and we'll get uh, extra recommendations. So if we take a quick glance, these all work. If we look here on the not target, they're all fine also. So I think this is pretty good. Um, I can drag this is we see in the ones that the model is not sure there's some from exterior, so I'll drag those. This is also exterior. Um, okay, so this this is pretty good. Um, what I can do now is hit the deploy button, which will uh, prepare the model to score on new images of the internet. So we can see if it actually uh, learned something, it can generalize correctly. So I'll uh, just search on Google for um, for images. So I'll start with something that is clearly from uh, the exterior, but very different than from the model. So, so I can just paste the URL to the image, hit classify. What I'll get is a reminder of what both my classes were, and um, then I get my pr my prediction: 86% uh, target. So that that's uh, that's pretty good because uh, it's clearly from uh, the exterior. So let's try something else. I can search for a bedroom. So I'll just scroll down, pick a random one, uh, get the URL, and paste it here. And I get a 22% uh, target. So that's also good, clearly from interior. And now I can try something a bit different. Uh, I'll search for a forest. So there were only uh, real estate pictures, so no pictures of any forest or anything like that. But it's uh, clearly from taken from the exterior. So let's see how our model handles this. We get a 99% probability. So that's extremely high, um, as probably because in in all my uh, my pictures of, of exterior, there's there's vegetation. Uh, trees grass that is not present in the um, in the pictures from inside so uh, this was a quick example of what deep deep teach can do as you can see this um, human augmentation workflow where I was assisted by a machine learning model 
allowed me to label a bunch of images pretty quickly and create a model that's doing a pretty decent job. Uh, if you remember when I started, uh, it was only unlabeled uh, data and I manually labeled um, 6 or 7 and worked my way from there. Um, so DeepTeach mixes active learning, uh, deep learning for uh, uh, feature extraction, transfer learning, and similarity search together to um, create, as you saw, uh, a, a simple but powerful user experience where uh, we can go from a bunch of unlabeled data to a workable model uh, and it only takes uh, a few minutes. So I encourage you to check the DeepTeach blog post uh, on the mldb.ai website or you can try it for yourself. Uh, this um, The plugin is open source, it's on GitHub, so you can try it by uh, creating a free account on mldb.ai. Uh, launched a hosted version of MLDB and uh, just look at the transfer learning with TensorFlow demo and it'll explain uh, how to get going with uh, DeepTeach. So thanks for watching and happy deep teaching.